Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. We're gonna be playing Kane versus Kindred. Kind of a matchup where both players want to invade the other one. So it's a bit strange. Kane is a champion that he's pretty weak early in attacking the enemy. But what you have the advantage on pretty much every single time is how you can take the enemy jungle camps. There's a ward on my red buff here from Kindred, but we got a ward on her blue buff, so kind of see where she starts and then play off that. Kindred would be, would be very good at taking my blue and gromp as well, so we'll probably just end up vertically. And that could be okay for me, except that if she ganks my bot lane, I kind of lose. So. so it's not okay for me at all. So let's just get level 3 and kind of see where we want to go from here. If I get level 3 and find the Kindred on my blue, for example, then I could attack her with my Alistar. Whenever you have a melee support, it's pretty good to play around them as Kane. It means that you can have more fights or even better ganks whenever you end up just around them. And in the early game, that melee support is stuck to the bot lane, levels 1 to 3. And then also, usually second recall. After then, then you guys can start playing around topside. So that's kind of my plan right here. For the runes, we have Dark Harvest, Sudden Impact, Eyeball, Relentless, and Magical Footwear and Futures. Just a whole lot of extra snowballing whenever we get our initial lead. We're trying to power up into the mid game here, so we don't have to commit to anything too serious. Gonna wait a second. My E cooldown is coming up, and Kindred is not here. Alright, so that means that Kindred is in her blue side. And I'll just finish my clear here, get level 4, and be on the bot side. I would much rather be on the bot side so that I can get my blue orbs to try to get blue form. Rather than topside. With the Kale top lane, nothing's really going on there. There's no CC. Well, there's not a lot of CC for mid lane. And where we're trying to power up into the mid game, not fighting levels 3 to level 5 is totally fine for me. With Kane, you do want to get your orbs early, but with Kane's orbs, the more damage you deal, the more orbs you're going to get. So You don't have to fight on the first couple turns. I know a lot of people freak out with that one, but it will all be alright, okay? You don't have to fight on the first couple turns, and if you're not fighting, well, you better be farming, Bob. Smite that bad boy. Now, my bot lane has crashed their wave, so the enemy bot wave is going to be bouncing back. The basics of the minion wave is like, you crash big wave, big wave coming back. So now, we want to try to gank bot lane. But careful, there's probably a ward right here. So we're waiting, and then I can E over this wall. Nice, they trade kills at least. Now this wave's gonna move up, and then they're gonna hold it right here, so we don't have to force just yet. And then once the enemy bot lane moves up here, then we'll look for the gank. E, moving. Nice, onto Janna. Wait for Janna to spend sums. There's her sums. There's the stun. Auto, Q. W. Get the slow on him. That wasn't too bad. Gives us a little bit of orbs. It's not too great, but it's not too bad. Back to the top side, and we'll do it all over again. Since we got the kill there, we can go Serrated Dirk, or we can power into that Profane Hydra. Honestly, either is pretty good. I think I'll go with the Serrated Dirk this time. They're all pretty squishy. And to the top side, we want to just clear down. We got the Jonas Flash, so that's going to be down for about 9 minutes, and we want to just keep hitting that lane. Kindred has 28 CS, a Doran's Blade, a Longsword, and Boots, so that's the last guy I want to try to hit. With the Serrated Dirk, this gives me 25 AD, 10 Lethality. It does not give me tools to contend with the Kindred having the mobility and survivability from Boots and Doran's Blade. So, I'm much better at ganking, and that's what I'll be doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got a Janna and a Kindred on the top side here. Go ahead. Go ahead, beat me up right here, you can. Yeah, take my raptors, they're all yours. The sooner that I can see those raptors, can see those void grubs, the sooner I can clear my blue side, get level 5, and then look to invade her red side. With Janna being top lane, it's much easier for me to make a play on the bot side. But what about your Kale dying top? That's fine. That's okay. Nice! The Alistar counter gank totally kills them. Wish I could get a bot gank off, but that's okay. Now, Kindred is respawn, so I only have time for the Raptors. If I was to stay for the Golems, it'd be way too much. Trying to power into level 6 now. We already have that level 5, but the enemy is really indexed into those defensive stats. And there's no lanes for me to really gank here. So, after I cleared this Gromp, we're just going to reset. Zeri, you want to die? I have my flash too, this is pretty good for us. We just need to follow where she dashes to. 
Nice. There's the knockup, but she's going to be able to dash away. Guess she just dies. Nice. The Gromp won't give us level 6. Kind of an L where they took our Raptors, but... Finish this bad boy, reset, do red buff, and then we'll be level 6 and we'll really be good to go from there. I'm pretty much thinking about rushing just the Profane Hydra. It's a very strong one-item spike for Kane, and it's pretty... I don't see anything else really beating it this game. Especially where they have such weird targets. Yasuo, Zeri, and Kindred. Alrighty, so that's the first step here. Very stable, you know. It doesn't have to be super chaotic for Kane. Well, two long swords it is. I'm not going to futures out that pickaxe. To the red buff. Yeah, it doesn't have to be very chaotic for Kane. Although you can play it very fast and whatnot. I think if uh, you don't have a lot of experience on Kane, such as myself, then doing it like this makes it real normal. Normalized Kane shows up for his 9 to 5. He's a normal guy. It didn't take all those Void Grubs, huh? We might be able to clean these up. I'm going to use my Q over the wall so that I have my E to escape. Hello. Just checking, guys. Just checking. Kindred's going to do those. I have a lot of time to clear down. So we only got two Longswords on that reset, so we're not super strong. But now with our ulti, we have more playmaking potential. Kane's ulti um, is a dash that also makes you untargetable. And then it deals some damage on the tail end. So, guys, come on, not the Raptors again. Oh, come on, man. Moving, W. Oh, <laughs> hey, I still got a shield somehow. Uh, maybe that was the Raptors, though. But right, with Kane's ulti, uh, we can go untargetable, so that sets up things such as dives, or making it where we don't have to take a grillion damage whenever we go in. Is Kane, he's a noob champ, he has to commit himself on top of the enemies whenever he attacks. That's the... Easy part of the gameplay, but also the downside of Kane, where he has to take damage. With the ulti going untargetable, you can buy a lot of time. Well, I'm here, and my guys have reset. Anybody want to walk into me? Come on, Janna, you want to walk into me? No? Understandable. She's level 5. Come on, guys. Investigate that river. There could be anything in the river, and boy, don't you want to find out? Come on, Jana, don't you want to find out? Moving. E. And then we are going to flash. Auto. Q. W. Ulti. Ulti. Hey, yeah, yeah. Q away. Moving. Alistar combo the Zeri when the Jana had spent everything already. Q. <laughs> we got form, baby. I really think I got form off that last Q. Whoa, they're trolling. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. These guys just as... All right, blue form to the top side. What the fuck? Actually, to the bot side. I got my camps up there. It's about 30 seconds until the top side camp spawn. So just like that, Bob. A serrated dirk, a couple long swords, and then like two plays and I have the form. It could be real standard. Even if you don't have form by like 11 minutes, so long that you have form, it can be fine. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of collection of AD items here. We have the Serrated Dirk Pickaxe, Longsword, Longsword. All of this simply gives us more damage. And now with the blue form completed, our W deals... Um, the Lethality deals more damage, and then we can use our E on a lower cooldown. The W has no cast animation. And then we look cooler, too. Zeri, we have a question. Listen, you don't have ulti. If you hit that turret, yeah, you're out of your mind. Moving. W. Q. Let's just go back to the top side here. They take dragon, and that's fine. Going down objectives early is um, no big deal for Kane. So long that you're trading the objectives for camps, then you're in a good spot. We're going to keep maxing the Q here, even though we have the Shadow Form already. The Q is going to be our damage, and it's also going to be our clear speed. Without clear speed, you want to have that fast clear speed up until around level 11 at least. And to give that up, no matter how fed you get, you can end up falling behind on XP, and that just takes you out of the game as jungle. What is the deal? Uh-huh. We got a Gragas there too. 
Guys, it's not that serious. I'm just trying to get some camps. This guy's getting ganked as I'm getting invaded. Bob, we gotta take this guy's blue side. They're just stepping too far forward. Alrighty, the steps remain the same here. We keep getting farm. We're about to hit the breakpoint in which we're gonna be way stronger than the enemy. And all that's gonna come from getting this farm advantage over Kindred. We're 78 to 73. And then especially once I complete the Profane, then I'm gonna be clearing so much faster than her. Q into the wall, it's a little bit faster. Oh, Jonna, I love you. E, moving. W, Q, ulti. Auto. Nice. Let's go for these wolves right here. The kindred may show up, but that's okay. I'm not going to use my abilities. I think I can kill the kindred. It's just going to take a while. W, Q. Auto. Smite. Auto. 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 E, Q. Nice. See ya. Auto. W. Q. Auto. <laughs> Maybe I could have got away if I queued over the wall. And eh, their mid laner would have been there. It's fine. I figured try to deal as much damage as I could before I die, but that's a Gragas, man. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. Whatever. Now we're juiced, Bob. We got the Kindred's ulti. She even had Ninja Tabby. It's a support difference. A melee support on my team. I can't lose. Coincidence? All those Void Grubs are up, but they don't really matter too much to me. Extra turret damage. I'd rather keep playing against uh, the weaker bot side. Looking for level 9. We got the Profane Hydra completed. That's a very big spike for us. Like I said, this item is such a dominant first item. Giving us 60 AD, 18 Lethality, 20 Ability Haste, and that active that effectively acts as another ability. Which is su super, super crazy for Kane. Kindred does not have ulti. This guy is toast, huh? Kindred's so much easier to kill. E, W, auto, Q. Alistar, big man, I'm dead! <laughs> hey! Hey! Go in! What the? Second item, probably gonna be Edge of Night. Listen, they don't have very much CC, and it'd be a damn shame if they had even less. You can dodge things like Kindred E, you know? <laughs> and then she just don't have no damage. On top of the base HP we get. Guys, we can win this so hard. Let's just clear, man. Let's clear these camps get level 9. That was a bit of a misstep. Yeah, guys. Kindred didn't have R and we didn't go in. What's the deal? We get to level 9. Now I'm looking for level 11. And I'm looking to complete my second item as well. Things can continue to be somewhat slow here. It's totally fine for Kane. The edge of night is 1800. And Edge of Night will give us that mid-range tankiness that we're really looking for against one, two, three. Three range champions and a bunch of damage dealers. Yeah, this Rift Herald's not really the juice. I'd rather try to get a pick first. So we want to move into the enemy jungle after clearing all of our camps here. Waiting. I'm waiting for my E cooldown. Moving up. Sweeper. E. Alistar, you can go in at any time, but you don't have to. That's the thing. It's not required. It's not required by our congregation. But we do appreciate it. Kindred's definitely bot side here. Oh. Trade dragon for this. I don't think so. I'm just going to play for the bot side as an assassin. Right now, I'm just trying to be in position for the play. Once the play starts, I can get involved. But to start the objective solo is a bit of a time waster when nothing has happened yet. No one has attacked. And things are kind of on the board. Yeah, you guys can start the dragon. I'll be in a flank position. The Zeri doesn't have defensive items, so that's good. It's really annoying when a champ like that will build, like, experimental hexplate. Makes him too tanky. Auto, Q, smite. Zeri, do you want to push that bot wave? 
Probably not. You do, that's crazy. E, moving. And hold that W. We're going to W. Flash, Q, Profane, Auto, Ulti. Insta died. And Kindred's finally showing on the top side. She's so slow. Well, Bob, my camps have respawned. And how much was the Edge of Night? Do you remember? Are you even paying attention? P.S. Grow up, Bob. That's right, 1800. So if we clear most of these camps here, be very close on completing it. But the Futures Market, too. 200 gold. Yeah, we can get to that bad boy. Might as well finish the Krugs here. Nothing serious is happening. So, Bob, we were playing to power up into the mid game, right? That's where we're at. We're in the mid game, so now what do we do? As an assassin champion, what do you think we do? You nailed it, man. Real smart guy. We kill some bad guys. So the way that we do that is usually going to be on the sidelines, waiting for them to make a mistake, and then attacking. So there's Gragas Q, there's his W, waiting for that body slam, and now we can do a short trade. W, Q, Profane, Auto, moving. Auto, Smite, Q. Nice. Knock up, W, Q. Nice. Oh, but the cannon minion. Ah, nice. Alrighty, damn, we're already 18 minutes in as well. So around 17 minutes, the minion XP difference is somewhat like mitigated. So you'll start getting about the same amount of XP from the minions as your laners would. Therefore, if you start split pushing, you become extra juiced. For all of our farming in the early game, we do that so that we have a gold and XP lead. Run! You to the left or right, let's see. Well, you took too long to choose. I don't have to. Got a bunch of noobs right here, but not too big of an issue. Just waiting to reset. I wanted to push this wave and then also get that turret. That would give me a lot of extra, extra gold. But that's okay. We'll do Edge of Night and then none of the boots really do anything, so... Right, these guys are pretty squishy, but could build some armor for now. I'll just get a serrated dirk. I'll get two long swords and a control ward and figure it out later. Serpent's Fang looks pretty good. Everyone's build is so weird, though. Anyways, Edge of Night gives us 50 AD, 15 lethality, 250 HP, as well as the spell shield. That spell shield acting like a lot of effective HP. Spell shield also helping us chew through, or really just like move right through a champion like Janna. Janna wants to immediately use her ulti or her Q. We get to block one of those so we can actually stay on the target that we're hitting. That part's pretty pretty overpowered in B's from. A champion that has to go in like Kane. Okay, so that's probably Gragas TP. All my camps are up, I'm farming towards topside. Just looks like they're failing their attack. So I'm trying to get as much farm as I can right now. If everyone's chasing plays around the map, then... If I'm the one farming, then I'm in a good spot. Phew. Damn, that like one-shots the wave. You do. These guys don't have to attack. Again, I'll be farming. Until these camps are done, man. I'm not skipping them. Noobs. Come on, man. Don't hurt my Ezreal, man. None of them really have a shutdown, so... We'll keep farming. This is the part where my allies start complaining. Now, they don't complain whenever you solo win a team fight level 16 to the enemy junglers level 13, but they don't like this part. It's never going to be your job as an assassin to go in after everyone on your team dies. Or even just, even if it, like, if an ally dies. If the enemy attacks your allies, it's not your job to, like, defend them. You can't. All my champion does is kill the enemy bad guy. If I don't have any sort of approach to the fight, even though they engaged on my ally, I don't have to get involved. And if you don't get involved, then you get to stay alive. If you stay alive, you get a farm. And if I farm, I get strong. 
Real complicated game, eh? Push. Push. That's more gold for me. Kindred has a collector and ninja tabby. I don't have an easy fight if I walk right into her, so I'll wait right here for a sec. Sweeper moving. Really? She's probably over here. Huh. Let's reset. To the bot side. Shereldas is okay, but I could get a lot stronger of a second item. Let's go with Shereldas. The Yasuo and the Gragas are both building armor. The Yasuo has the chain vest going into Iceborne. Gragas has Frozen Heart coming up. Either way, like any armor, we're going to need that Shereldas. You can get two lethality items and then get that Shereldas as your third item. And it's always going to give you good damage values. I don't understand... Their team should really be contesting every objective. We are getting to scale for free. Nice. Oh, I thought I got this mine. Doesn't really matter too much. There's two more dragons until they get soul. Well, like I said, it's weird where they, they're not contesting because they're kind of on a timer. If nobody gets this Baron on this turn too, then that's pretty good. One ninety six to one seventy six on the kindred. Alrighty, camps are done. Let's go have some fun here. Waiting for the enemy to make a mistake and then punishing it. Now that's the hard part. Instead of just running right into him, you know. Instead of letting it rip at all stages. Let's push mid here. There's no flank. We're outnumbered. And then they're doing okay. The Kindred got chunked, so. Instead of showing mid, I want to see if I can flank the Kindred here. Maybe get her ulti. Hello. W. Not committing in. Kindred's not going to move forward. Unless she has a reason, you know. There's the Gragas behind her. Who could have guessed? Let's Futures out the Shereldas. And now, on this turn, we really want to go level 16. If we do a fight and lose, you know, you stay level 15, and then the Baron happens, and the Baron happens, and the Baron happens. Like, the plays just never end, seemingly. So, get my three item spike. Whoa, you guys can't do that. Come on. We got the mobility from Blue Cane of Soul. We're powered with the E. Sweeper, moving. 5k, we have some time to play with. They're going to peel off it, that's fine. Alright guys, listen, the pings don't help. I'm trying to focus. All that I'm waiting for there is to see some abilities. It's so weird where they can walk in. Baron, grow up! Waiting for the enemy to make a mistake and punish. Going 350, okay. Let's get level 16, Bob. The camps are up. Mitigate their Baron and then back to farming. Nice. Uh, your team hates my guts. You saw the way Kale wanted that Scuttle Crab, right? Come on, man. Listen, Bob, we'll hit a bad guy one day. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> we need to get to a side lane quick. So they're going to attempt this Baron, right? But what if I push top lane as they're doing it, huh? We're going to save our E so that we have an escape. The team's really looking for the fight. That's not smart. Taking the fight into them before they're on Baron 2 is really bad. bad because we're outnumbered. We're outnumbered and they have such good turn. Kindred, Janna, and Gragas. 
by split pushing there, we get a little bit of golden XP and I'll just keep pushing. Like, they have position on Baron and all my allies are dead. Not much else to do. This outer turret is worth a lot of gold. Alrighty, they start up the Baron. We can try to flip it, but I do have a big-ass shutdown. Baron's gone before we can get there. But we're pretty close to level 16. We got level 15 and a half, despite nothing burger but mid-game here. It's nothing burger but mid-game. It's about what you'd expect, too, from these sort of players, but all the champions scale into the mid-game. It's fine. Um, I'm going to go with... Ninja Tabby, and then a Serrated Dirk. Future's out of Longsword. Alrighty, my bot side camps are spawning soon too, so I don't have to stop for top side. We already got the Jana, so it's just Baron on this area in the Yasuo, so that's okay. Looking to mitigate their push, and then keep farming, keep scaling. We're basically at that level 16, but what it's done for me is help me stay even against Kindred, where she just keeps getting juiced. Brought to you by the ally. She has a big ass shutdown, you know? You don't build up a 600 gold shutdown if you don't kill some bad guys. And if you're killing bad guys with this sort of comp, man, come on, man. You're getting it for free, be honest. Well, they went topside. Get a little useless dragon, get that level 16, and now we're basically scaled. Basically scaled into the mid game here. Now, Bob, I would love to have a fight with my allies. Schmack. You. I'm waiting for the enemy to make a mistake to punish, but they're all topside. Perhaps we just split push. Why don't you defend anything? Not my job. Now nope, they didn't hire me for that. I was hired to kill the bad guys. And farm minion waves. Yeah, they're sieging our base, but I'm just gonna keep pushing here. This allows me to trade an inhib rather than staring at the enemy. They'll probably get a reset off, so I doubt I would get the whole inhib. But then I could try to flank them topside if they overstay. Keep hitting this, we have an easy escape with our E. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. And now, where I said we have that flank right, we can just move from here all the way behind the enemy. My allies just keep chasing. My Ezreal's somewhat doing it right. Nice. I'm in there. Oh. Okay, we're th there's the ultis. Let's do this. Sweeper. And then on to Zeri. W, Q, Profane. It's my ulti. W. Oh, missed my W. Clean him up. Up, up. Up, up. Nice, and we're back. Uh, opportunity, question mark? Let's get out there. Alrighty, they should get the inhib bot side. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We got some more farm. We got some more lanes to farm, and then we finally got a fight for ourselves. Even though we didn't get the kills, you know. At least we got something. At least something happened. How long can one team farm? Farm, farm, farm. Do nothing. Defend nothing. Farm, farm, farm. Random die. Farm, farm, farm. Look at how fast I clear all this, too. The Kindred hasn't even spawned. I've... This is going to be my third wave killed. It's always that WQ and Profane. I'm pretty sure they're going to nerf the Profane coming up, so... You'll have to use the Profane at the beginning or the end of the combo. Not gonna stop for that. Stopping for Kindred's camp is like a death trap right now. It's uh, two minutes till Baron, so I just want to get a lot of farm, get us rated Dirk, and get back out on the map. Gives me a little bit, a little bit more juice to work with. Definitely gonna be the Serpent's Fang though. Shield bow on this guy, Janna. Serpent's Fang is also pretty cheap. It's rated Dirk to the bot side. Looking to assassinate only the carries. If I spend abilities on Yasuo Gragas, probably trolling. 
My abilities need to be on Zeri, Kindred, or Janna. Yes. Doesn't matter if Yasuo is pushing top. We need to get up on the sidelines here and help my team with their push mid. And we don't have a wave. And no one's waiting for the wave either. Schmack. Schmack. And I helped. I want to get my edge and eye pop. Alright boys, Baron in 38 seconds, just set up right here. Nobody really has time to reset. Yeah, that won't stop him, will it? Guys, the Baron is up. Guys, the top wave is pushed. Guys. Alrighty, listen, Jonna, I need you to be a noob just once right here. Once for the boys. That Kindred has a GA. At least I can poke them, though. WQ. It's alright damage, you know. Four seconds on that W. W. Oh, he's queuing away so that we don't take any extra damage. Regen a little bit of our mana. Definitely want to clear these wards. Alright, he dragons up, but it's just not that important. Again, we have to get on Zeri, Kindred, or Janna. Waiting for my Edge of Night to be up so I can't get Gragas ulted into Yasuo ulti. Not that that would kill me, it's the CC that would kill me. We should play for the mid wave, not the dragon. We have two inhibs down and Baron is up. Just trying to get my flank position now, the enemy's get given up this spot, so... They're forcing the Baron, but that's good by them. Not committing, making it very awkward for him. Go to engage. Oh, I had edge, my bad. The super minions are hitting their nexus turret, so that's alright. Nice, we got Kindred. Oh. Not gonna be enough. <laughs> you missed. Oh, well, we're still buying time. The minions are hitting their base. <laughs> I pull you into my ranged characters. Do we win? Got it. <laughs> We got one Nexus turn, we got a lot of damage on the other one. I'm gonna heal up. This play has lasted a fucking eternity. What a weird match. By doing the camps here, we heal up a little bit and also get our golden XP. So long that you have blue buff, you can use your E an infinite number of times. Why would you ever start the Baron? They have both TP, so starting the Baron is a waste of time. We need the DPS from Akshan, and then the Ezreal. But if you just hit it with us, you're not on our screen. I know, man. I was like, <laughs> I was like 400 HP. I know. Oh. Hello. Monkey see, monkey do. Why would you guys be hitting the Baron? We have wards, so I, if I can get my reset off, I can get Serpent's Fang. And that's a way bigger buy than this rated Dirk. Alrighty, team, give me three seconds to get the fuck back out there. Q, moving. Kindred showing bot. Bob, it's all about the Baron right now. Whoever wins that Baron wins, but how do we win the Baron? Well, we have to get some picks, so... I'm gonna try to get into a sneaky position so I can use my E to give me a flank onto the enemy. Once the fight would start. 
Lots of this area being warded pretty low. Okay, there's the engage. We'll see where it goes. More special, that's for sure. I'm gonna push the bot lane here. I have no chance on the Baron. And that bot super wave is like my only saving grace, so... I can go there, try to get this bot in him, and then my team can defend in the meantime. Guy's really on the case, huh? Gragas came back too, so now we have an even fight in the mid lane. The Gragas doesn't have TP, they just TP to the last fight. Alrighty. Jungler, top lane, and mid lane. Can we get a fight here? No dice. <laughs> no gameplay. One minute on my ulti. They should start Baron. Waiting. Okay. Engage on to Kale. Phew. Auto W smite. Nice. <laughs> and I killed Janna with <laughs> just the profane Hydra. Guys, I stole Baron. It's all about the Baron, Bob. They don't get it? I don't think they win. Red pot, and let's get back to this fight, I think. They're dead. Let's push mid. Mid lane's the uh, the one wave without the super minions, so... It's like nothing for Kane to push these waves, too. Just smack them a little bit, and then bang. Um, the dragon's coming up. The inhib. 25 seconds, 30 seconds. I'm gonna do the mid inhib, and then go for the dragon, I think. The Ezreal can start the dragon as well, so there's no rush on that. I can do the inhib back, but I cannot do the dragon into the inhib. Because I'd have to walk to it, whereas these guys are dead right here, right now. So we can get it. 18 seconds. Damn, I wish that I could uh just take that turret and then end the game. 9 seconds on Gragas, it's just a bit much. I'm sorry. Ocean Soul for us, who knew? 340 CS. Next item would be selling my boots for Ghostblade. I don't want to do that, but that's the next one. Now, we mitigated the Baron buff. We got the Baron buff on Ezreal, so it's up to Ezreal to push the bot lane. And then we kind of work from there. Well, if you're not going to push the bot lane, I will. Zeri even has Overheal and an Iceborne. What's the deal? Anyways, Overheal is another shield that the Serpent's Fang kind of breaks. Enemy team is A-ramming right now, so my team shouldn't fight. But I'm not the one with Baron, so it takes me a lot longer to push. Enemy team doing a nothing burg. Dude, we're probably going to have to wait for next Baron. This is happening so slowly. I need the enemy to commit to a fight mid for me to have an in. I can't just go for one-offs here. One-offs don't win the game, team fights do. Unless... W, auto, Q, profane. Noob down. Just gonna ignore Kindred here. Back on Kindred. W, Q, ulti. Don't wanna take too much damage. Ulti away, it's fine. Regen back up. W, Q. Smart move. And then I'm going to play for these guys. Yes, uh. Gragas can hold the next wave, but it's not enough. Oh, Kindred then live. What is the deal? E, moving, smite. W, auto, Q, profane, see ya. Gragas lives. Oh, it's all up to me. Auto. Uh, your E is up. Sorry. Gragas, come on, man. Oh. Oh. GG. Final score 7, 6, and 6. <sighs> Bob, that was a hard fought battle. That was some real League of Legends, you know?
it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. We're farming, we're farming, nothing's happening. Remember when I said that your allies hate you? Whenever you're like level 11, level 13, farming, farming, they hate your guts as Kane. Why aren't you fighting when we're turbo dying when we're all playing scaling champs? Well, me personally, I like to go level 16, level 18 with every item in the game rather than fighting with two and a half. Anyways, final damage dealt 27,000. Not a whole lot, but not what you would ex like. Not you would expect that like 40 minutes in as an assassin. I didn't really even get to do that many fights, so that's that. Alrighty, GG. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know which champion you want to see in the next video. Peace. Bye bye. See ya.